Hey guys, what is up? Sly Cooper LP here, back again with episode 5 of my Road to Glory series, and I just want to let you guys know that I accidentally deleted the previous episode 5 with all the good games on there and stuff. We won, we won the division title, but I deleted every clip by mistake, so I'm pretty pissed off, and that's why uh, you can see we're in division 1 now. So, um, I wasn't happy with um, the fact that I deleted the... Uh, the data and the video and stuff because we had some really good games. We had two amazing comebacks in the third period. Um, we, were, we were down 3 nothing in our last game. Entering the third, we scored three goals in about three minutes, and then we won it with five minutes left. And then a couple games before that, we were down 3 nothing with about five minutes left. And uh, we just totally turned it on, and we ended up winning in overtime. So it was pretty awesome. And um, I wish you guys could have seen it, but, um, uh, you know, oh well. But uh, I do want to let you guys know I'm accepting wager matches. I really want to try and win some good stuff off you guys, and I want I want to give you the chance to win some good stuff off of me. I have a little excess uh, Team of the Week stuff that I accidentally bought too much of, so uh, I'm I'm willing to put that up. So um, if you guys want a wager match, uh, definitely message me on PS3. Again, it's Red Wings Pride 25. And we'll lock a wager match. So right now we're going to go into our first D1 game. And we're going to see how we do. And I'll catch you guys on the back end of it. As soon as I apply this contract to Ryan Callahan. Okay. And I need another contract. Oops. Yay, Dan Boyle. Alright guys, let's find our first game. Alright, that was quick. So our first Division One opponent is Sully So Hard. And let's hope we can pick up a win here. A win would be fanta a fantastic start. Eh, we're going to go white. So a win would be a great start for us in Division One. And let's hope we can pick it up, boys. Okay, guys, so I don't really know what happened there. The game just kind of stopped, and it said I lost connection to the other players. So I'm pretty sure we, we're going to win our first game, but uh, let's just check to make sure that we're going to pick up the W. And as you can see, we do pick up the W, so our first game in Division One is a success. We didn't need the score, and we still come out on top. So we're going to check out who our next opponent is, and I will catch you there. All right, guys. So we're going into a game here against uh, 086 Pockets uh, Grand Goons. So he's a Winnipeg fan, and I would enjoy to start to. I would greatly enjoy starting 2 and 0 in Division One. It would be fantastic, and it would make things a hell of a lot easier to get those last 12 points. So I'll catch you on the flip side of this game, guys. Wish me luck. Alright guys, so here we are in the first period. We got JR with the puck here. Skates through a couple guys, goes forehand, backhand, no mistake from JR. They're making it a one nothing game. Alright guys, unfortunately later in the period, I'd make the asinine play of turning it over and he would score with uh, Jordan Stahl there, tying it up at one. Here we are, here we got Cronwall in the corner, throws it to Wheeler, and Wheeler just taps it in for the goal, making it a 2-1 game. And right here we got Henrik Zetterberg comes around and just snipes Pavlek there, making it a 3-1 game. Still in the second, it's James Neal stops, avoids three players there, and then gets poke checked, but it still goes into Pavlek's 5-hole, making it a 4-1 game. Now we're in the third period. Ryan Nugent Hopkins escapes three guys there and then goes forehand, backhand, no mistake made by the Nuge. And that would be your final, a 5-1 to one drubbing. And this is one of the better games we've played recently. But um, moves us to 2-0 and in Division One. And uh, our three stars here, we got Zetterberg with a goal and an assist. Roenick with a goal and an assist. And Wheeler with a goal and two assists. So overall, um, contributions up and down. And uh, the stats here, uh, we outshot him by five there. Out hit him by three. We were on the attack almost six minutes more than him. Our passing was a percentage point better than his. Uh, we didn't take any penalties. We went two for three on the power play. Big part of our success is our power play. Um, 
and we won um, two more draws than he did. So overall, guys, we've been playing real well as of late. Um, so we're going to look to continue that here with our third game in D1, and we're going to hope we can make it uh, three for three. Alright guys, we're getting into our uh, third game of the episode here against uh, Snowy Nuts. And we're going to look to make it three in a row here. And um, then we'd only need five more wins and we would be uh, we'd be league champions of D1 and that would be awesome to have. I really want to win the uh, the league title and then I want to win uh, the Elite Cup and uh, the Pro Cup as well. So when that's done, this series will be over when I win... The Elite Cup and the League Championship. Until then, the series will not end until the new game comes out when I will start my second Road to Glory series. Um, I'll probably be getting a PS4 by Christmas, though, so um, that could uh, hinder things for NHL 15 RTG. But um, you never know. So uh, wish me luck, guys, and I'll catch you on the back end of this game. So here we go, guys. We're in the first period. First shift of the game. It's Henrik Zetterberg. Carrying it around, drags it, fires, snipes it past uh, Brayden Holpe there, making it a 1-0 game. Then on the final shift of the game, Ronick goes around his guy there, dangles Holpe, goes backhand, forehand, no mistake from JR there, making it a 2-0 final score there. And so it was ironic that we scored on the first and last shifts. I found it pretty funny, but um, this guy, he didn't have a good team, like, you know, I'm not going to say it was bad, but, um, like, he had John Scott and George Peros and uh, Gostad and, you know, uh, Michael Rupp. So, you know, not a great team there, but uh, EA Tolt helped him out there. And as you could see, the shot department, we dominated 29-9. to We didn't even let him get in the double digits and shots. He outhit us by five. We're on the attack five minutes more than he was. Our passing, we made four out of every five passes. Um... We didn't take a lot of penalties. Only one for four on the power play. I was a little disappointed there. And um, we were even on the draws. So we played really great. And we shut him out. So um, third set of the game, Jeremy Roenick with uh, the last goal there. And uh, five shots. Um, second star is obviously his Holpe. He made uh, 29 saves. Or 29 shots. <laughs> he saved 27 to 29. It's pretty good. Not, not much you can do when the guys in front of you aren't scoring. And the first star of the game is uh, Zetterberg, who had the game winner just a minute and a half in. <laughs> who had eight shots, and he was a plus one. So he played really well, guys. And we're going to look to continue that trend going into the next game. All right, guys. So we're going into our next game of the episode against uh, Toss and Sauce. And... We're hoping to uh, make it four in a row here in D1. Because that'd be a fantastic start. It would, oh, excuse me, take a lot of the pressure off. So, all right, I hope you guys, uh, you know what? I, I don't know where I was going with that. But I'll catch you guys on the back end of this game after that moment of awkwardness. So, guys, this game is a pretty interesting game. I got a goal taken away with that goofy glitch where... It'll just reset the previous face off, and it was so stupid. So anyone from EA, if you're watching this, you're a bunch of idiots. And instead of inventing new game modes, which is just a ripoff of play now, you should be fixing the problems with EA, SHL, and HUT. So anyway, let's get into the game, guys. We got um, we got Patrice Berger on here, skating it through. Goes backhand, forehand, no mistake there, making it a one nothing game. Unfortunately, right here, he'd get it with Drew to Nash, across to Parise, he'd score, making it a 1-1 game. Third period now, he has it with Seabrook. He just shoots and he claps one by uh, Tiller there, making it a 2-1 game. Not to Fred is right off the next draw. Ronick goes through, Seabrook goes around Girardi, and then goes backhand, forehand, making no mistake, making it a 2-2 game. And then here, we got Blake Wheeler. He snipes Lettinen, making it a 3-2 game. And that would be your final score. We hold on to win this one 3-2. Wheeler with the game-winning goal. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins is staying an injury. But um, just take a quick look at the stats here. Um, outshot him by 1. We got out-hit by 20. We out-attacked him by almost 4 minutes. He passed better than us by 6%. Um, we're 1-4-4 for four on the power play. And we won two more draws than him. So we we didn't play our best game, but we definitely played good enough to win. 
Uh, Cronwall, the third star with uh, two assists. Uh, Seabrook, the second star, his Seabrook, the second star with a goal. And uh, JR, the first star with a goal and an assist. So JR has been really good since coming to our, our squad here. I'm really glad I have him. And uh, his with his help, we made it uh, four in a row in D1. So really happy about that, guys. Um, we basically only need uh, we basically need a point now to hold in Division One. So we're gonna play one more game. It'll be the final game of the episode, and that's coming up next. All right, guys, we're going into our final game of the episode against Rubidoon. And we're hoping to pick up that win, which will launch us into um, into a good spot. We'll, ha we'll only need three more wins if we get the W here. So let's uh, let's hope we get that. All right, guys, so here we are. We got Jeff Skinner with the puck here. Skinner throws it on net, and then James Neal showing his inner Albert Pujols bats the puck in, making it a one nothing game. And with 17 minutes and 15 seconds left, he was having, I, I don't know if he was having controller problems or whatever, he backed out of the game, so that was it, we win, so we're gonna do another episode, or another, another game, because it was just way too, I wasn't expecting that, needless to say, so, um, so that, anyway, makes it two easy games this episode, giving us, uh, ten huge points, and we're going to just look to continue that. We're going to look for the 12 points there. And I'll be back with our opponent. Alright guys, so we're going into a game against uh, Bracco de Mars. And we're going to look to get a, a huge W here. That would put us within two wins of that league title. So wish me luck guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Alright guys, so here's how we got this one started. We got JR with the puck here. Stops and goes, throws it in front to Neil, who puts it in, gives us gives us the one nothing lead. Right here, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I just passed this off. Marlowe gets it and he scores, making it a one one game. Alright, right here we got the new huge with it. Goes behind the net, throws it in front to Zetterberg, buries it, making it two one. Unfortunately, Seidenberg turns it over. Couture throws it across. St. Louis puts it in, tying it up at two. And right here we got Zetterberg. Zetterberg deeks that guy out and then dangles Jimmy Howard, making it a 3-2 game. And right here we got Blake Wheeler. Wheeler gets around the D-man, throws it to Zetterberg, giving Zetterberg the hat trick. Another hat trick for Zetterberg. I believe it's his fourth move with the club, which is awesome, making it a 4-2 game. And here we go, we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins at the breakaway of the Nuge. Goes backhand, forehand, no mistake there. He beats Howard, making it a 5-2 game. So guys, I just want to quickly say that Jeremy Roenick scored our last goal. I ran over the 15-minute limit time because YouTube's a bitch. So, um, yeah, uh, if you want to lock in a wager match with me, please do so. Uh, here's my roster really quick. We got um, Callahan, Bergeron, uh, Perrin, Cronwall, Zetterberg, Ryan, Sagan, Pominville, Boyle, Seidenberg, uh, um, Neil, or Neil Skinner, Neil, Ronick Skinner, Timon and Girardi, and Nugent Hopkins Hall, or Nugent Hopkins, Zetterberg, and Wheeler. So if you want to, and Hiller and Netzel, if you want to lock a wager match with me, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bound for Glory. Um, just four points away, guys. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.